Isotope has released the fourth version of their powerful and popular mixing plugin, that's Neutron 4. And to celebrate the release of Neutron 4, I've got what I think are the four hottest new features of Neutron 4. That's a lot of fours. In fact, that's four for four. Why don't you join me? Yes, today we're looking at Neutron 4 from Isotope. Now, right off the top, this is not a sponsored video, but Isotope is aware of how much I love Neutron, so they sent me over an early look so I can share some of the features with you guys. Now, if you haven't heard of Neutron, first of all, I don't know where you've been, but Neutron is Isotope's flagship mixing application. It's a plugin that runs within your DAW, contains all sorts of AI machine learning, and this really cool visual mixer, which is a revolutionary way of handling the mix in your projects. Now you can use it as a standalone plugin. You can use it throughout your projects. It's a very versatile plugin with tons and tons of features and uh, definitely well worth the look at all different levels. If you're a pro, it's gonna help you get your work done a lot quicker. If you're a little newer to the game, it's gonna help you sort of figure out some of those issues that you haven't been able to figure out before. Lots contained within that plugin. So as I said off the top, I wanna look at the top four features of Neutron 4, at least what I think are the top four. And let's start with number four. Number four, trash. If we take a look inside the Exciter module, into the Distortion section, you now have a Trash option. You can select from four different flavors or blend between them to find the perfect amount of destruction. Move the tone slider around for different types of madness. need to tame the beast, you've got the tame function. But that's also a new feature and not in my top four, but worth discovering when you dive in. So now once you've got Neutron 4 shaping your tracks just right, you can absolutely mangle them with trash. Number three, punch mode. As part of the redesign of the compressor module within Neutron, Isotope has introduced punch mode. This mode allows you to expand your tracks to create serious punch or compress the dynamics of a signal for more control. You'll notice this compressor has no threshold. That's because this compressor identifies the more aggressive moments of a track, kind of like transients, but in a more musical way. And punch mode is actually two processors in one. When you slide up the punch setting, you expand the dynamic range, adding more punch to the signal. Sliding the setting down reduces dynamic range, compressing the track. You've got attack and sustain settings to customize the compression to get it just right. This is also a multi-band compressor so you can adjust where the crossover points are and make unique adjustments to each band. And an interesting feature of the meter is it quickly tells you when you're compressing or expanding. When you set a band to expand, the gain reduction meter comes up from the bottom. And when you set a band to compress, the gain reduction meter comes down from the top. So now with three compression modes, multi-band control, and easy to read at a glance metering, you've got a compressor for every aspect of your mix. Number two, the new assistant view. The new mix assistant is more attentive. This is a machine learning feature where the plugin listens to your track and recommends a full processing chain. 
Now, as soon as you engage the assistant view, it starts listening automatically. Once it's done, it gives some options on how you'd like to proceed. As in this case, it has analyzed the track, determined it's a guitar, and has given me, in essence, some suggested starting points that I can choose from. Once I select the option that sounds best to my ear, I can go in and tweak it to my taste and the needs of the mix. So in case you fall asleep, you can have peace of mind knowing that your assistant is always listening. And the number one new feature in Neutron 4, in my opinion, is... Well, isn't it obvious? The Unmask Module. Do you ever get caught in the loop? You've got tracks competing and you go round and round trying to fix it? You're not alone. The new unmasked module combines the masking meter of the EQ and the spectral shaping power of the sculpting module. This new module can automatically detect competing frequencies. To achieve this, it utilizes the sidechain feature of the plugin. For example, the kick and bass are competing and you need to make space so they can work better together. Add Neutron to the active channel, the kick seen here in gray, and assign the bass to the sidechain, seen here in purple. The orange area is where masking is occurring and where it is being corrected. You can hone in on the area you want to focus on and easily make space for both instruments. So if you're a pro, the unmasked module is going to get you to completion so much quicker. And if you're a bit newer to mixing, or perhaps you're mixing in a room that's not really optimized, the unmasked module is going to help you identify those problem areas that maybe you just weren't hearing right before. What do you think? And an honorable mention goes to M1. Yes, Neutron 4 is now M1 native. So if you're like me and you grabbed yourself one of those new Mac Studios, or if you're on any one of the M1 powered Apple Macs, well now Neutron 4 is running native in M1, so all of that machine learning and AI is gonna be that much more powerful running natively in M1. Well, there's my top four features of Neutron 4. There's just so much in there. I really had a hard time putting that top four together, uh, but lots to discover in this plugin. If you want to discover some of the other features, well, why don't you check it out? I'm going to put a link in the description. If you have any questions, if you want to uh, share me your top four features, that's what the comment section is for. Now, if you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. If you want to do a deeper dive with me, I'm on Patreon, I have affiliate links, hey, I even have merch. All that information is down below. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I look forward to seeing you again in another video.